Sir, we're approaching the location of Orbital Station Aleph. Captain, the station is surrounded by an asteroid field. I have calculated the best approach for us to pass through it safely. At your command. And here I already have my first problem. I'm too used to things like Supreme Commander. Orders. I can zoom out further than this. Is this really the extent of this camera that can zoom out? Oh my god. Ship ready. Understood. There's an active minefield directly ahead, Captain. We must maneuver quickly, or it is likely the ship will be damaged. All available power to the plasma thrusters. We're going to execute a high energy turn. Orders received! Cruising speed set. High energy turn successful, Captain. The thrusters are already recharging. Helm, resume our course to the orbital station. Setting course. Captain, our auger arrays indicate that the orbital station is heavily damaged. I suggest we move in closer to discover what happened here. Course plotted. Captain, we can reach the station faster by pushing the engine status on all ahead full. Ah, combustion. So you have a limited amount to do this. Very interesting. Yes, Admiral. Cruising speed set. Your orders? Awaiting orders. It seems like the station has been attacked recently. The enemy may still be lurking around. Sir! I recommend dispatching some of the ship's armsmen to board Orbital Station Aleph, and report on what they find. Boarding parties underway, Captain. Received several weapon impacts and signs of explosions at the bulkhead. We've found the command center, sir. This place is a mess. Cautiously, Sergeant. I have a bad feeling about this. Sir, we found a survivor. A defense platform on the station has activated and is targeting our vessel. Broadside macro cannons ready to fire on your order, sir. up some strange signals in the nearby gas cloud. So, the signals, they're iconoclast destroyers. They are ships. This sector is a long way from the Eye of Terror. What could they be after here? Whatever their reasons, Captain, these 
These heretics must be destroyed at once. Captain, consulting the ship's cogitators and machine spirit can help guide you in making tactical decisions in battle. Course blocking. Oh, what the fuck is this? Resuming normal function. Master Gunner. We need to direct additional power to the targeting quantities to increase our weaponry's accuracy. Orders received! Look on target! Fair amount of detail of these things. Target blocked. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Orders received. Course plotted. Underway. Well done, crew. Captain, the Orga Arrays are reporting more enemy signals. Many more. A gigantic chaos fleet. There's no way we could survive fighting them head on. Contact the High Command immediately. Unable to do so, Captain. All communications are jammed. Captain, there may be a way for us to escape and warn Port Moore. We could risk an emergency warp jump. It's risky to engage the warp engines this close to the star's gravitational field. But the Chaos Fleet has us boxed in! Sir, we don't have any other options! Oh, eternal God Emperor. Preserve us from the dangers of the world. Interesting. If what you say is true, Captain Spire, a vast chaos fleet is massing for attack. Inquisitor Horst, are you sure of this man? Maybe we should consider someone else. Isn't this captain from a planet that rebelled against the Emperor's will? Enough! His faith will be tested. Thoroughly. of mankind. Obey his, his words, for he will lead you to the light of the future. Honor his servants, for they speak in his voice. And will before his majesty, for he will walk in his immortal ship. Let us begin. I'm gonna cut that short. Sector is treachery, sedition, and heresy. Because the, the video is playing much slower than the audio, I don't worlds. know why. 
Your new rank entitles you to command a small war fleet of Imperial Navy. Your first assignment is to put an end to the unrest and rebellion threatening a nearby system. This interface helps you prepare your fleet for the next mission. At the head of every fleet is the flagship. You must select one of your vessels as the flagship for each assignment. Choose your Dauntless Light Cruiser as the flagship for this first operation. You have another captain assigned to your command. This captain commands a Dauntless Light Cruiser and will assist you for the duration of the mission. Add his ship to your fleet. Smaller ships of the Escort class can provide fire support or scout for the enemy. The Firestorm frigates are a good choice for this assignment. But I want this one! Whatever. Once your fleet is prepared to engage the enemy, you should set course for the target system at once. Why is my buddy ship worth more than mine? Admiral, the fleet has reached the last known position of the heretic ships. Their sedition must not stand. How shall we deploy our flagship? Now you must select how you wish to deploy remaining ships of the line. I do like his voice acting, even if Commissar is spelled incorrectly. Should have two ends. Now that your cruisers are deployed, you must next determine where to place the Firestorm escort vessels. Your new promotion has placed you in command of the entire fleet, Admiral. That means you can order your captains to adopt engagement modes during the battle. These engagement modes define how your captains act in battle. You can change the engagement modes at any time. Admiral, the Firestorm escort ships have powerful prow weapons. I would advise setting these ships to a frontal attack. A good understanding of each ship's weapons is the best way to know which engagement mode to use. The macro cannons on our ships are most effective when fired at short range. Now that we've deployed the fleet, it is time to root out these rebellious traitors. All ships coordinate your movements. We will advance as one group at the same speed. Setting course. We will set course for a gas cloud, then use it to ambush the rebel ships. Once our ships enter the gas cloud, it should mask our fleet's emissions. Is that a Nova cannon? No, it's a lot. Daughters didn't carry no cannons. That'll be stupidly overpowered. Lance battery. Lance battery. Hmm. Orcs are going to be fun as hell when they come out. Orcs, 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 orcs. Number of ships is destroyed. One. Oh, come on. Ship ready. The gas cloud conceals our fleet, sir. We're invisible to the enemy ships. Excellent. The trap is set. Now we wait for our prey. Sir, I've detected an enemy vessel. Shall I engage? Wait until you have identified your target, Captain. I have a probe ready to launch, Admiral. That ought to tell us what we're looking at. Very well, Captain. Launch the probe. Oh, there was an ambush. Choose where you want the probe to go. The probe will identify any nearby signals. There's a random probe here. I wonder if there's anyone nearby. Perp de derp. 
All readings are confirmed. That ship belongs to the traitorous rebels. Now that we have identified the ship, our weapons cogitators can automatically target the enemy vessel. All ships, attack the enemy vessel. Yes, Admiral. Understood. Engines to maximum. Ship ready. Enemy ship identified. We have them. So, Admiral Spire, did Ravensburg send you to bring us to here? There are other powers. They can reward you for your skill and your duty. That's your command. Okay, well, that's coordinates fine. acknowledged. Orders. Execute high energy turn. Understood. Shitting course. Admiral, this is a battle we cannot win. I've taken my ship out of this mess. What the hell? Admiral, he is activating his warp engines and preparing to disengage from the battlefield. This cowardice cannot be tolerated! Admiral, we must put an end to this pitiful display and make an example of this craven fool! Changing course! Execute Alright. At your command. For the Emperor. Underway. To be honest, if we're targeting the engines. Yeah, we are targeting the engines. What the hell? Ship ready. No damage, even though it was in the rear arc. What the hell? I know they're not orcs, so they still have armor 5, but still. Awaiting orders. Orders received. Technically, I should only be on one side of him because uh, now I can let him use both. But it's like, yeah, falling success. Oh, we blew up their engines! What? I don't have a teleportarium. Well, that's slightly retarded, isn't it? How do I turn off tactical closure to Terebaba mode? I forgot. We keep our distance from the enemy ship, sir. It will soon explode. Oh, no. How do I turn this off? I forgot. Oh. Ooh. That's your command. 
Oh, there. What? All ships. You fought with valor this day and proven yourselves worthy of the Imperial Navy. Wow, that's Set a slight to leave the system. I must report our victory to Lord Admiral Ravensburg. It didn't take that long to blam somebody. He's dead, what the hell? Well, either he's dead or he's dead. I forgot which one it was. Whatever. Doesn't matter if you lose frigates. You've exceeded my expectations, Admiral. However, other seditious forces are making themselves known in the Gothic sector. I would like you to meet Fabricator Cambrius. He is in charge of the Adeptus Mechanicus shipyard at Port Moore. Admiral, you and your fleet can repair and upgrade your vessels at Port Moore. By the Omnissiah, my tech priests stand ready to assist you. Your current rank allows you access to the most common classes of vessel. As you grow in renown throughout the Gothic sector, larger classifications of ships will become available. Follow me, Admiral Spire. I wish to show you the sacred shipyards of Port Moor. Ooh. Yep, you can tell the French. Huge hull damages, plural. Port Moor is the largest and most sophisticated harbor in the Segmentum. Here, you can see what services are available to you at your current rank, experience, and renown. There are several shipyards in operation at Port Moor. Follow me, Admiral, and I will lead you to the docking bay. It is time to show you what my shipyard can provide to meet the needs of your fleet. This panel displays the statistics of an individual vessel. Using this interface, you can see your ship's standard characteristics. The weapons of your ship are also displayed here. Pay close attention to the weapons information displayed here in order to better understand your ship's capabilities. This panel displays the general attributes of your ship. Select the crew management panel to see more. Admiral, this is the crew of your ship. Every vessel has a particular captain and a specific set of crew. By focusing your attention on an individual crew member, the crew can improve their skills and benefit your ship in many different ways. The captain of this ship has earned a promotion. This grants you access to better quality crew. You should start by improving the skills of your navigator. He will then be better able to guide your ship through the tides of the warp. In addition, reconditioning will reset your crew abilities. Now, take a look at the ship's upgrades. You can install a new module on the light cruiser. Different systems on each ship can be improved with modules and upgrades. Such systems include engines, decks, and weaponry. These improvements are acquired by gaining renown during your missions. I have set aside an additional void shield for your ship. You can install it now to improve the ship's shield rating. Well done, Admiral. Now, try installing a tech module on your ship. The modules you can install improve different aspects of the ship. These aspects include defense, damage, control, support, recon, and maneuver. The number of modules that can be installed is limited by the ship's tonnage. Now, install the shield overload module. This will boost your shield's effectiveness for a short time during battle. Slightly irritating. I don't know whether it's to do with the tutorial or whether it's to do with the fact that you just can't tell what these are until you actually get the right to unlock them, by which sort of makes the point of crewing skills slightly dodgy. I must return to my communion with the machine spirits. Admiral, you should return to the sector map for your next assignment. Hmm. 
The Sector's High Strategic Council has met at Port Moor. The Council has a plan to secure the Gothic Sector against these invaders, and you play a key role, Admiral. I will contact you soon to brief you on your next assignment. Our supply lines are being raided by Orc pirates. Several reports indicate that the Greenskins are harassing our forces, keeping them off balance. Admiral Spire, your orders are to escort an important Imperial convoy of equipment and food to Bladen. This world is suffering from the predations of the pirates, and millions will starve if these supplies don't reach their destination. Oh wow, so yeah, it's gonna throw tons of shit at you. And I saw in the, uh, what should we call it, review that you have multiple sectors. So there's Port Moor, there's Lysan, there's, and there's gonna be a few others as well. I think there were seven in total. So the higher your rank, the higher your amount of actions you get turn. I also notice the Blackstone Fortresses. This is actually incorrect. As far as I'm aware, they should not be spinning unless they are active, because in the Gothic rulebook, it was specifically... They were... The two, so the two halves, I'll call them, were specifically locked on top of each other in the Imperial Defense Inert Mode, and in the Active Mode, like, as they should look like that. And in fact, on the tabletop, it was also the same way, I believe. But the fact that they put in the Blackstone Fortresses and how they... It was an integral part of the story in Gothic. Actually, it makes me pretty damn excited. But, yeah, I could play more of this, but I have a feeling the campaign is severely limited. So, I'm going to end this right here, because I have an exam anyway. I'll see you next time.